Hello and welcome. My name is Heather and in this gentle somatic yoga session we're going to be repatterning and releasing much of the stress and tension that can accumulate in the muscles through the neck, shoulders, and back. Uh, these muscles can become quite sore and fatigued from long periods of sittings, from working over computers and devices, and so we're just going to take a little bit of time to give them some extra lovin' today. So as we're moving through our practice, you can do this seated on the floor. I have a bolster underneath my hips. Uh, you could use a pillow cushion or anything that you have available. You could also do this seated in a chair if that's more comfortable on your body. So I'd like to invite this intention of ease. How can I be more at ease in my body? And one of the first ways that we can begin to look at that is in our posture. Are you comfortable where you are right now? And if not, please grab any supports or make any adjustments so that you can feel most at ease in your body as we're moving together. So we'll begin with a body scan or a soma scan just to sort of get an idea of where we are, how we are here today. So please find a comfortable seat, close your eyes or allow your gaze to soften downwards. And let's just begin with a few cleansing breaths to sort of clear the way, allow ourselves to arrive more fully here into this present moment. Find an easy breath in through your nose and just let it go. And as you take a few more breaths, just these cleansing breaths, feel your awareness softening down from the top of your head to your neck and shoulders. Perhaps just let the shoulders melt down a little bit more. And on your next breath, softening from your shoulders to your belly, just relaxing the muscles of your back. And on that next breath, softening all the way down through your hips, legs, feet. Just notice the ground beneath you. Notice the support beneath your body and feel yourself landing a little more fully onto that support, onto the ground. Beautiful. Now just bringing your awareness inside. And as, as if you could shine the spotlight of awareness into yourself, notice how you are today. Notice how you feel from the inside out. What sensations might you be aware of? Do you notice anything feeling tight, stiff, sore? And can you greet yourself with a sense of loving kindness? So just allowing yourself to be curious about what you notice. It's not good or bad, just noticing how you are in this moment, knowing that will change, it's always changing. And so also perhaps asking yourself the question, hmm, what does it feel like to be at ease within my body? And just sort of notice what bubbles up for you. What would it feel like to be at ease? within my body and my mind. So with that question in mind, let's bring our palms together, rubbing them together, just generating a little warmth and energy and connection there. And we'll place one hand over the heart center, one hand over the belly. Just let the warmth of your touch soak into you and notice the gentle rise and fall of your breath beneath your hand. As you inhale, feel your body gently expand. And as you exhale, feel your body softening beneath your touch. Again, just nice and easy, long, slow breath in, expanding. Long, slow breath out, softening. 
Let's take one more deep, easy breath here. And this time, as you exhale, gently gather your belly muscles towards your back. Good. Now bringing your palms together in front of your heart, we're going to continue with this breath and with this feeling of gently hugging the belly towards the back as we exhale, as we start to add some movement along with our breathing. So together here, let's just find our movements. We'll turn the palms forward, making a diamond shape with the hands and rounding through your back as you press the hands forward. So finding that C curve of your spine, gently opening across your back. And from here, reaching the arms towards the sky, find a little lift of the heart. The shoulders just drip down the back. Turn the palms down, sweeping the arms out to the sides and bring the hands back to the heart. This is called the Namaste flow. Let's breathe in together. Exhale, rounding back as the hands press forward. Inhale, reaching for the sky. And exhale, sweeping the arms out and down. Beautiful. Take your time discovering the length of your breath on your movement. <sighs> Gathering the belly in as you round back. Feel length and spaciousness as you lift open. And exhale. Ah, returning back home to your heart. Let's just take that one or two more times at your own breath body pace. Perhaps feeling as though this is a little movie meditation as we tune in. How does it feel to move with your breath? Maybe closing your eyes, coming inside the movements. Last time through. Feel this gentle warming of your body. Next time, as the arms come down, just let the hands rest on the knees. Pause for a moment. And again, just notice what you notice. Ah. Beautiful. All right. Now tipping your head to the right, ear to shoulder, shoulders soft. And just let that left arm come down by your side. So that arm is just heavy and easy breezy there. Okay, from this position, we'll start to tip the head forward and back as if you were nodding yes. So we're on this little angle here where we're tipping the head back and forward and just hmm, notice all these little nooks and crannies that you might be feeling here through the left side of the neck. So these muscles can get so very tight from all the time that we spend on our devices. And so we're just creating this little lubricating movement, this sort of hydrating movement for the tissues, for the muscles. You can change the angle of the head, drawing the chin perhaps closer towards the shoulder as you continue to tip up and down. And I always like to sort of imagine or ask myself, what am I nodding yes to? Hmm, what comes up for you? Perhaps nodding yes, saying yes to feeling better in our bodies, to feeling less pain or less stiffness. Good, we're gonna hold here now. You can bring that right hand up and add a little bit of a massage, massaging the neck and shoulder. You can think of these as love squeezes. I like to think of them as love squeezes. And can you feel your breath here moving into this area that we're massaging? Ah. <sighs> Just simply letting any tension melt away. Good. All right, bringing the hands down, rolling the head forward, chin to chest, shoulders release forward for a moment. And then slowly rolling back up your spine. Find that beautiful long posture. Let's roll the shoulders back and down. And just notice, hmm, does that side feel any different than the other? Mine definitely does. <laughs> All right, so let's go the other way. Left ear to the shoulder, 
All uh, right arm down by your side again just let that right arm hang heavy again we can find that little micro movement tipping the head up and down what are we nodding yes to perhaps saying yes to feeling more easeful in body and mind today perhaps inviting in the mantra I go easy on myself Breathing. Good. Again, we can also add a little massage here, bringing that left hand up to the right side of the neck, finding any of those nooks and crannies that might be feeling a little tight or tender or wanting a little extra TLC today. So listening to your body. What does your body need? I go easy on myself today. Mm, good. All right, so bringing both hands back down again, let's release head forward, shoulders forward. It's just this little slump, this little release. And then we roll back up with hips, heavy heart, light, rolling both shoulders back and down as we open up through the chest. And now again, just notice how this area feels. So we know that our brain learns through contrast. So it's really helpful to take that moment to notice sort of the before and the after or how one side might feel differently from the other. And that's where those lasting changes will begin to come in as we really bring awareness to what's tight and then what changes. How can we be differently in our body? How can we release those habitual tension patterns? Good. All right. Let's, if you are cross-legged, let's switch the cross of the leg. So just notice for a second here which leg is in front. Remember that. Let's stretch them both out for a moment. Oh, yes. Get those Rice Krispies moving out. <laughs> Shake the legs a little bit. We're looking for comfort, remember? Looking for ease and looking for balance. So as we cross the legs again, bring the other leg in front. Alrighty, so exploring our next somatic movement flow called bowing forward. So this is a particularly lovely movement to again repattern the muscle length through the back of the neck where things are feeling really tight and cranky. So I'd like to start with our before picture here and just sort of notice where we are. Where is our range of motion? Just starting to roll down, being mindful of your body. Rolling down chin to chest, you could bring the hands forward either to your legs, to the floor in front of you, and just going to where your body naturally stops. So it's going to be different for each one of us. Okay, so when you get to that point in your body, just naturally stops. Don't feel like you need to push any further. Just notice that range of motion. It might be a little bit, it might be a lot of it. So let's take a breath here. Relax the jaw. Good. And then take your time as you slowly roll back up your spine, bone by beautiful bone, back to that lovely tall posture. Yeah. Okay, so for me, I'm quite flexible through this area. For others, you might not have gone very far at all before you really felt a pull or some tightness through the back of the body. So I want us to um, kind of think about this principle of no pain, no gain, uh, and ditch that, <laughs> right? Forget that phrase exists. And instead, um, just letting yourself know that you don't need to push into any pain or strain. So this old paradigm, no pain, no gain, goes out the window. This is no pain, no strain. So taking excellent care of your body. Alrighty, so we're going to bring the fingertips behind the head. You could either just rest the fingertips there or interlace them. Please be mindful of your neck if you have any cervical spine issues here. And just be begin to grow a little taller. So I'm very lightly pressing my head back into my hands. The elbows open gently. Good, I'm thinking lifting up through the back and crown of the head. Ah, uh, already I can feel a little bit more breath coming into my lungs as I grow a little taller in my posture. And as we're very lightly pressing the head back, 
we can start to lift the heart. And this is small, so I'm going to turn sideways so you can see this. It's not a super duper big range of motion. Okay, just pressing down through your seat, lifting gently through your heart, shoulder blades drip down your back. Now, if you're starting to feel some crankiness up into your neck, up into your shoulders, bring your elbows just a little forward so that you can see them through your peripheral vision, and that will help the shoulder blades melt down your back a little bit more. Good. So in this position, we're creating just a little tiny bit of tension on the muscles of the back and the neck. This is going to be what we call a pendiculation, where we consciously build a little bit of a tension load, and then we slowly, mindfully release it. Okay, so from here, three parts. We're going to dip the chin forward. Elbows come with you. Pause. We roll down just a little bit for, further, so you can think of this movement happening in thirds. The shoulders drip down the back. And then finally rolling down that last little bit. The elbows drip towards the floor. Now in this position, I am not pulling on my head, so I am very gently, 5% effort, pressing my head back into my hands. And then release the hands down and slowly roll back up your spine. Bone by beautiful bone, head is the last thing to arrive on top. Take a breath. And just notice the sensations that you might ah, feel here. Good, so we're gonna have the opportunity to do this two more times. So again, please be mindful that you're not pulling the head down, but keeping a little bit of pressure of your head back into your hands. When we keep that pressure, we're building just a little bit of a healthy tension load on the muscles. So sometimes the best way for the body to learn to release tension or to relax is to actually go deeper into a contraction because that's where the muscles are now familiar. They're now familiar with that tightness. And then when we release it, they can remember, ah, oh, oh yeah, this is what relaxation feels like. So sometimes <clears throat> if we have a lot of tightness in the muscles, they just forget. They forget how to be at ease. <clears throat> So let's help them remember with some loving kindness. And here we go again, fingertips behind the head. Let's find that length. Imagine you could create more space between each vertebrae. Elbows go gently wide unless you're feeling crankiness up into your neck. In that case, keep them slightly forward. Let the shoulder blades drip down your back. Let's find that little bitty lift of the heart so you're in the tiniest little back extension. And then from there, we bring chin forward. Elbows forward and pause. There's that little bit of pressure, head into hands. And then we roll down a little bit more. So now I'm thinking more through the upper back. Pause. And then rolling down a little bit further down towards the middle back. Pause. Again, we slowly release the hands. Take your time rolling back up the spine, middle back, upper back, head floats on top, pause, just sort of assess what you're feeling. Because everything's wonderful in threes, everything's magical in threes, let's do one more. So this time, if you'd like, you can add a little breath with this. <clears throat> Doing what feels natural to you, but I'll show you what feels natural to me. So inhale, finding that length, pressing the head lightly back. Growing tall through the crown, find that little lift through the heart. And then three-part exhale. So chin to chest, exhaling a third of the way out, opening across that upper back. Exhale a little bit more, rounding a little further forward. And you can take as many breaths here as you need. Third part of the exhale, rolling down to your fullest expression without pushing or pulling to go further. Melting the arms all the way down. And inhale, slowly roll back up. Mm, relax there. 
Have a little wiggle moving through your body. Perhaps turning your head a little side to side. Hmm. And just for curiosity's sake, let's see if anything has changed or feels different now with our range of motion. So again, we're just going to roll down the spine. The hands can come forward. Coming to your fullest expression wherever that is without pushing to go any further. So for me, I, I go about the same range of motion, but it feels a whole lot more comfortable to be there. So notice in your body. Take a breath. Good. And then take your time again as you slowly roll back up your spine. And it might feel really nice to stretch your legs out at this point, give them a little shake. Good. So one of the main differences between gentle somatic yoga and a traditional hatha yoga class is this pendiculation. So we want to avoid moving into a stretch um, because it can create what's called the stretch reflex. So if you think of a muscle, a tight muscle, as a rubber band that you start to stretch out. So it's one of those tight rubber bands, right? And you start to pull it out and it'll stretch. It'll go there and it feels very satisfying as we're getting there, right? It's like, oh, that feels so good. But what happens when we come out of that stretch is the rubber band goes back to what it's familiar with, which is tightness. So it hasn't learned, it hasn't had that brain to muscle education, that remembrance of how to reset itself back to its natural resting muscle length. So when we stretch, oftentimes bloop, the muscles just sort of bounce back to where they were before. That's not a lasting change. But when we use pandiculation, we're actually communicating to the muscles through the nervous system, through the brain to say, ah, this is what's possible. And then it starts to give our body new information about how to create new movement patterns, new healthy movement patterns. All right, we're gonna come down onto our backs now. So scoot your cushion out of the way. Coming into uh, one of my favorite movements, this is a lovely integration stretch. Sorry, not stretch. <laughs> Movement flow, and this is called the flamingo. So we're gonna start first, coming all the way down onto our backs. Oh, hello floor. Maybe give your knees a little squeeze to your chest, make some circles, a little massage for your lower back, your hips, your sacrum. And around the other way. Good, so as you come back to center, let's stretch the legs all the way out for a moment. And again, just let yourself get curious here. How does your body feel on the floor? You might roll your head a little side to side. Now that we've moved through the upper body a bit, it might feel different. It might feel more on the ground. Mine definitely does. Like I can feel my body more in contact with the ground than how it normally is when I first lay down. But notice especially here, down through your low back, your hips, your legs. And as you take a deep breath, just allow your body to gently imprint down onto the ground, just as if you were lying in the warm, soft sand. What does that imprint feel like? Now bending your knees and let's roll over onto our right side. Now I'm going to bring a little pillow with me. Okay, so you could place a pillow underneath your head if you like. Or your head could lay on the floor. I find that not comfortable in my body. And if you have any neck issues, you might want to prop the head up just a little bit here. Make sure that you're not pushing it up so far that we're 
We're pu pushing through the neck there. So nice neutral position. All right, your knees are bent in front of your hips. Your arms are out in front of your chest. And I like to imagine that my body is a book, right? My spine is the spine of the book, and my top arm, or both arms, are the covers of the book. So we're going to open our book and see what story it has to say. What's, what story is awaiting us here? All right, so beginning to reach out through that top arm, we're just gonna sweep it up towards the sky. Now pause for a moment here, and rather than just letting the arm go back without your body, Let's take our body with it. So think roll open from your belly, through your ribs, your chest, your head can go with, with you, the shoulder and the arm. And you're just opening it again to your level of comfort. Check in, where's the ease? Make sure there's no pain or strain, especially through that neck shoulder area. Oh, that feels lovely. <laughs> and then we're gonna close our book, sweeping that arm all the way forward rolling your body forward. So let's do that again. Getting that sense of rolling onto your back, however far that is for you. You could also have a little pillow or cushion behind your back to support you if it doesn't feel good to open all the way. And then rolling forward as the arm comes forward and pause. Nice, so now we're going to incorporate the lower body with us. So from here, let's open our book again. And this time, as you sweep your arm forward, we're rolling forward through the belly, through the chest, through the arm, and then begin to extend that top leg back. Now here's the trick. That hip sometimes likes to roll back with this. So imagine there's a little string pulling your hip forward. So there's that roll through the hips, through your belly, through your chest, through your arm as the leg extends back. And it's like somebody's giving you the most loving stretch in both directions or reach in both directions. From here, let's sweep the knee into the belly as we roll open. And sweep the leg back as we roll forward. Good, just play with that. Find your coordination. The knee comes in as we open up into our twist. The leg sweeps back as we roll forward. Good. Find the breath that makes sense to you here. So for me, it feels good to inhale as I open into the twist and then exhale as I roll forward. The opposite might be true for you. Let's just do one more. Now from here in that nice long reach, just out, let everything melt to the floor right where you are. Just melt, 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 let it go. And pulling everything in back onto your side. Beautiful. From here, we'll roll over to the other side or come up and over to the other side. So on your left side, noodling around till that feels comfy again, knees bent in front of your hips, arms out in front of the chest, and we're going to start with our book, right? So we might even kind of slide that top hand out a little further, like there's something just beyond your reach. So you can feel this little, this little ah, kind of ooey gooey movement there behind that shoulder reaching forward and then sweep open. Opening through your belly, your ribs, your chest, your shoulder, the arm, the head can roll with you. So again, this side's probably gonna feel different than the first. So if you need to put a little cushion behind your back to prop yourself so you don't go quite as far, if that feels safer or if it feels good to open up, go for it. And then sweeping all the way forward, so we're rolling forward. Again, let's inhale as we sweep open. And exhale as we sweep forward, rolling forward. Right, now, integrating the lower body, so we sweep open again. 
This time, as the arm comes forward, the top leg reaches out and glides back. Now stay there for just a second. Check your hip. Is it rolling back? If so, can you roll forward like that little strings drawing it to the front of your space? The belly rolls towards the floor, the ribs, the chest, the shoulders, the arm, and then the leg extends back. To me, this is the most satisfying lengthening there of the psoas, the hip flexor that can get so tight from our sitting, right? Just like the upper body. So let's put it into motion as we open up the knee swings forward. Swing the leg back as the arm rolls forward. Good. So now that you know the movement, you know your path of motion, take a moment not to think about it too hard, but just let your body feel that coordination. Maybe close your eyes. Again, coming inside the movement, what does it feel like to move from the inside out? How does your breath want to participate with that movement? Move slowly, mindfully, make it a little luscious. Finding that feel good movement. Ah, I go easy on myself one more time. So moving with pleasure. This is absolutely one of those feel good movements. Good. As you reach the arm forward, the leg back, just enjoy that elongation for one more second and then just sort of melt, 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 melt right down where you are. Let everything go. Nice. Coming back to your side, knees on top of each other. And let's just roll onto our back again here. Okay, we can scoop that cushion out from underneath the head. Readjust on your mat. All right, extending the legs back out for a moment. Ooh, interesting. Now notice how your body feels on the ground. Sort of wiggling your shoulder blades out from each other. Let the legs just flop open, feel the weight of your body on the ground. And again now, just shining that spotlight of loving kindness awareness down through you from the crown of your head, down over your face, neck, shoulders, softening, noticing. Down through the chest, the arms, the upper back. Down the length of your spine, down through your torso, your belly and low back. Down through the hips. Down through the legs, the feet. Just allowing yourself to rest here, soaking in this goodness that you have created for yourself today. And feel free to stay here for as long as you like. We're coming back with me as we bring a little movement into the fingers and toes. Just bringing the arms overhead, coming to this little body yawn like you would, moving, reaching through your body as though waking up to a new day. Good, bending your knees. Let's take your time as we roll to one side. Pause for a breath. Coming all the way back up to sitting. So finding your comfy seat again. Adjusting your clothes. Yeah, wiggling back to your center. Mm, beautiful, bringing hands to your heart. And just feel your breath, feel your body. Coming back to our 
invitation for this intention of ease. What does it feel like to have ease in my body and mind? Just breathing that in and carrying this new awareness with you to the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.